The speech of the President of United States of America uh, is uh, for me a little bit disturbing because it's, it was very harsh uh, on, on Arab world, on Muslims, I think, and it gives uh, American version of the, of, of the events and the recent history of the, of the, in the Arab world. Uh, which uh, does not necessarily correspond to uh, what uh, we as reporters, we as readers uh, of the reports from that part of the world uh, believe and think. Um, so I think it's, uh, I, I would like to believe that he is uh, sincere and that it is not just a pre-election campaign uh, when he speaks about uh, the need to engage diplomacy and uh, when he says that he does not think that the, the dip diplomatic sources have been exhausted, when he, especially when he spoke about, about Iran. Well, he spoke about Syria and he said uh, President Assad has to go down, has to go. Do you think that he is only saying words or what is reported from Syria that the Americans and the West are helping the rebels in Syria? What, what, what's the version do you believe? Well, uh, I don't know. I can only recall that a uh, couple of months or years ago, the president of Syria was, as, as a friend uh, of, of the United States, was a, a statesman who used to uh, come to bilateral meetings. Uh, something has obvi uh, obviously uh, changed. Uh, the situation in Syria is tragic, but again, uh, I would uh, refer you to uh, the speech of Mr. Ban Ki-moon, UN General Secretary, who said that crimes were committed on both sides and that this uh, institution should condemn uh, all the crimes committed. Uh, so clearly uh, something is going on in Syria that is not black and white, uh, the regime and, uh, and opposition, and that is how Mr. Obama would like uh, the situation to be presented. Thank you very much. Your name is Love you, Jane, yeah. <laughs>